Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your Storm Track 15 weather. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. Adam, you are tracking some pretty great temperatures for the Scott Boudin Festival. Yeah, and today, I mean, Taylor, fantastic weather out there. We have two good days and one not so good day for the fest. You can see that for your Friday, sunshine expected, temperatures falling from those 80s. Saturday, though, we're tracking showers and storms. Now, likely it won't rain all the time, but there will be spotty storms around, especially during the evening hours. And then Sunday looks fantastic with drier air moving on in. Now, the system that brought some of that rain around the area and off to our east, well, that little low is spinning up through northern Alabama into Tennessee. Now, what remains of it? Our system still is not on this picture yet. It's going to be moving on through in the days ahead, though. For today, you can see your temperatures go from the 70s to the 80s and then drop back down to the 70s. So this evening looks to be fantastic. Just some clouds in the sky. Nothing that will be producing any rain. Overnight, we'll be near that 70 degree mark. It's going to be very sticky outside. Clouds rolling their way on in, setting up for some showers here as we head into your Saturday morning. Now this should remain just light shower activity, nothing too heavy, although we could have one or two passing areas of some heavier rain. It's not going to be too terrible out there for the farmers market tomorrow at Moncus Park. Humid, damp, maybe some rain, but Overall, not bad. We don't see that thunderstorm potential really starting up until after midday. Here we go with our future cast showing some of those storms forming up. Now it keeps most of the action up to our north, which would be really good for us. In fact, showing sun and clouds mixing for your Saturday afternoon. Some big storms just off to the east. Now that's not set in stone. Those could be right on top of us here getting into the six, seven o'clock hour. Then we'll get a break. And then a cold front arrives as we head into midnight on your Saturday, turning the page into Sunday here with showers and storms, some of which could be strong to severe. There is a level two risk for severe weather here from the 190 corridor northward. Most of Acadiana in a level one risk, but Ville Platte, Opelousa is a little bit higher threat there, mainly for some damaging wind gust as well as some large hail. A tornado can't be ruled out, but that doesn't look to be that impressive of a threat. And you know, flooding will be possible too with any of those slow moving storms. But overall, I think we get through tomorrow with just some bouts of heavier rain. Again, starting I think around two, three o'clock, the best opportunity to see some of those thunderstorms, maybe some severe weather going through about midnight. Sunday looks to be fantastic. Those temperatures in the 70s and then going through next week, we have 40s for those morning lows all the way down to the I-10 corridor on Monday and sunshine in the afternoon before some clouds return headed into Wednesday and Thursday.